Hello everyone. I am Harshita and today I am going to discuss the topic Manage Receivable System Options. It comes under the basic setup of the Account Receivable module. So, before going to the application first, let's discuss about some points for better understanding of the concept. So, moving forward, there are some terms we should keep in mind before going to the receivable system option configuration. First is split amount. It determines the number of invoices over and under a certain amount given as a split amount as well as the total amount remaining. For example, if a company generate invoices that are either of amount 300 or 500, so you can choose an amount 400 as your split amount. So what happens after you give a 400 as split amount is you can review how much of your open receivable are comprised of amount 300 and how much are corresponding to your 500 business. So this is the concept of the split amount. Now moving to the another term is days in days sales outstanding calculation. It is used by a company to estimate the size of their outstanding account receivable, right? Now, the next one is application rule set. By defining this, a one can determine how receivable reduces the balance due for a transactions line, freight and finance charges. There are three types of application rule set available in the instance. They are line first text apply, then line first text prorate, and the last one is prorate all. So what is line first text apply? In this, you can apply open line item amount first and the remaining amount in order of tax, then freight, and then finance charges. The next one is line first tax prorate. In this, apply a proportionate amount to open line item amount and the open tax amount for each line. And then the remaining amount is applied to freight and finance charges. Then the last one is prorate all. In this, proportionate amount is applied to line, tax, freight finance charges so this is all about the application rule set now we will go to the application and see how the configuration of receivable system options is done so moving to the application now after logging to the application go to setup and maintenance Now from task list, go to manage implementation projects. Now search for the project. In the taskbar, give manage or you can give the systems option and search. You can see that manage receivable system option is coming. Just click on this. Now from here, go to manage receivable system options, go to task. Now here you can see that the business unit ledger currency is coming here. You can verify it that it is your business unit ledger and the currency you which, have, which you have selected is coming here. Fine. Now you need to fill all the mandatory fields with the asterisk sign here, right? So you can see that split amount I have given 2,500 days in days sales outstanding calculations at 60. I have discussed this concept uh, before going to the instance. We have discussed this mandatory fields. What does it mean? Then application rule set. We have also discussed that there are three types of rule sets. You can select either one 
as per your requirement then you can also select the discount basis i have selected line only you can select any of this four as per your requirement then if we scroll down little bit below you can see that under accounting there are some accounts which are mandatory to give here right you need to link all the accounts here and under transaction also tax invoice printing options document number generation levels all this is coming you can set this all the option as per your requirement basically it depends on your business requirement the field how you want how you are going to fill that field okay now one most important thing you should keep in mind is this item validation organization right this is not a mandatory item you can see that there is no asterisk sign here right but you need to give here your item validation organization so that you can create your sales order if you will not give your item validation organization here you cannot uh, create your sales order sales order right so you need to give this so this is uh, one important thing you should keep in mind right and rest all the details you can give as per your requirement there is nothing typical concept in this you just need to fill all the options as per your requirement fine and after giving all the required fields you can just save and close and you are prepared with your system options so this was all about the managed receivable system options thank you